Good day everybody, this is uh, Shane Spike on the Water uh, here on the shores of the Baltic Sea. Uh, I traveled to Stockholm, Sweden to uh, see in person the drive-in bow wash. It's a piece of technology I discovered online about a year ago and I always say to have a affirmation without discipline is the beginning of delusion that's what you got to get up and get stuff done right away just go for it do awesome daily so i'm out here in stockholm checking it out and would really really love to you know see a hundred of these things surrounding the great lakes and stop using bottom paint look at those brushes man <laughs> michael here he works uh with Rotunder that creates the drive-in boat wash and we communicated uh, a couple months ago in Toronto we visited and I'm just really excited to bring this technology to Canada for the Great Lakes. So here's the electric gate on the opening end. So there's a couple bars that run through that gate and it's a full wall, right? Yeah. We're gonna crank it up. Well, she's warming up. Now we started the, the hydraulics. You hear? No, the pump is filling. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this was pushed out, and then you can go go the other way if you like. Okay. So you can use this. It's not necessary, but it's like a little trick if you're an operator. Like if you want to climb down the boat, this would be make it much harder, right? Mm. So then it would be better to maybe stop, go this way, because it will help it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah to yeah. climb along the surface. So, yeah. And then you have this uh, orange brush, it's just to really get up, up on the side of the boat. Mm -hmm. People say it works well for, for my boat and for most of other boats. Uh, how often do you recommend using it? At least three times a year. Okay. Depending on the temperature in the water and where you are sailing. But at least three times. The growth on the bottom as it collects in the basket, do you know how often they come to clean it out? We have just cleaned it once. In and two years? It wasn't too much. Okay. So Maybe it's... We can uh, do it every second year or so. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I use it when uh, before we take the boat up, and the boat is almost completely clean. Where the brushes reaches, it's clean. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it's uh, some shell and grass, but it's really good. All right. How many times has your boat gone through? Uh, I'm just taking it through once a year before we take it up, because I'm not staying here at, uh, at uh, in this harbor at summertime. Okay. I'm going to another harbor. Okay. And they don't have the washer machine there. All right. So once a year. And the, and no bottom paint. No bottom paint. Uh, the gray color on that boat is uh, epoxy. The no. Uh, Interprotect. Pardon? Interprotect. Interlux. Epoxy like three layers. Uh, it's epoxy six or seven layers. Six or seven layers. Oh, that's awesome. No, no uh, toxic. Uh, no pollution to the water. Uh, I think it's good. We want to bring this to uh, all the Great Lakes right across Canada, uh, complemented by a full spike station that will allow you know boats to get away from anti-fouling. We'll see you on the water back in Canada soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>